Hey, today I'm welcoming you on another workshop in Scandi PWA series and today we'll talk about the maintenance, how to migrate to the newer version of Scandi PWA. Well, you started developing on it, you built your theme on top of it, so what next? What if we release some new version which has something in it which you want but you are afraid to migrate? what to do well do not hesitate let's begin so first thing you need to do is you need to go to our scandy pwa github page and open it up so we are back to scandy pwa base theme so what we are looking here for we are looking here for release information so to get notified about latest releases make sure to click this button and make sure you're watching or you're subscribed to releases only. This is important because if you won't be, you will miss the update. So you could miss the update. So about the uh, release information, so how it's structured. Well, let's take a look on some ma minor release. So the performance optimization a iOS support. You can immediately see what is inside of this release, but uh, the features are what you want, but you, uh, when updating, you need to pay attention to the important notes. Well, here you might find that there are information about new dependencies, like in this release, the CSS Nano and Style Loader got added. And additionally, the Webpack version got bumped. So, uh, also you can see that production and development configs were changed. Please update both files. But what does it mean? Well, it means that you need to follow those instructions noted in the important notes section. And for example, if we said that uh, two new dependencies got added, well, what you need to do is you need to get to your PWA folder and make sure that in your package JSONs, you have them, those words, CSS, Nano. You can see that I already have this version. So for me, it's already here. But if you wouldn't, have this in your theme file so what you would need to do is you need to get uh, dcf you need to you would need to write uh, dcf exec frontend uh, and then bash and from here you would need to npm install and each of those css nano and style loader css nano and style loader so we are installing installing those uh, those uh, dependencies to our theme. If you are, don't have the front end uh, at this setup, you can do it from the application. The main thing, go to uh, theme root and from there run the npm install CS, npm install and the new modules which appeared. So this is number one. Additionally, you can see here that the version got bumped. So this means that we could need to npm install this version as well it's okay and then the it's done in the same way and then the production and development configs were changed please update both so what this means is that that's a little bit time consuming part because now we need to open the pull request up we need to uh see the changed files let's compare it to uh 2.x Let's compare it to our version, which we have. So let's compare, for example, with 2.8 and let's see what uh, configs exactly were changed so we can update accordingly. So we here are only interested in the uh, Webpack development config. So let's load. And you can see that the public path has been added and the chunk sort. And for production, a little bit more differences exactly specifically here. So we need to copy them and paste them into our files here. So in our SRC config uh, webpack production, we go here and we update those lines where we need uh, those updates to appear. So that's how you, that's how you can, uh, update that's how you can make sure the update will go smooth now to the update itself so to update you need to run uh, the upgrade you need to uh, uh, run the composer update because candy pwa is the composer package so what we're doing is we're going inside of the application container using in-app bash command 
and from here we're running composer update and then which uh, package we want to update let's update whole scandy pwa package list so scandy pwa slash this will update every package inside of the scandy pwa and after it's completed you should see uh, some changes in the uh, composer lock and this changes in composer lock you need to commit because they will uh, this will ensure your changes will preserve throughout the deployments so let's wait until the composer finishes updating the scandy pwa packages and right after it finished and you can see boom it's finished uh, Right after it finished, here updating the performance, schedule, GraphQL, customization, wishlist. Now we can proceed with, uh, now we can count it as updated and we can open up the front end and make sure that the feature we wanted works fine. I'm sorry for the red header. This is a new feature left over from a recent workshop. And I hope uh, this video helped you to understand how you can update except let's also talk uh, so I updated but uh, my theme is not built well if I'm using docker and I will uh, restart the setup I will get my theme but if I don't have the docker I need to go to the place where my theme is located so up front up design front end scan develop PWA and here I need to run npm CI remember after we uh, did all the installations of missing packages if there were any uh, mentioned in the release notes we do run npm CI and after the npm CI is finished we are running npm run build because the npm run build is a command which allows you to uh, build the application you from these sources so you will it will create the magento theme folder and magento will recognize it again and then what you need to do is to flush your varnish caches because right when you flush varnish caches the uh, yeah, so you need to flood, uh, flush the varnish caches. And when updating using the composer right after this, you also require to run Magento setup upgrade. So after we run this command, then we need to also run the uh, Magento setup upgrade. So that's how it works. And in our case, when we executed npm CI, we also need to run npm run build. And then the theme will be built and we will be happy browsing our new updated Scandi PWA. Thank you guys for watching. This was a very short, but I hope very helpful video on topic of uh, updating Scandi PWA. And I see you in the next video. Bye.